video is about phenanthrin preparation. Phenanthrin is a polynuclear hydrocarbon which is isomeric with anthracene having formula this. It can be prepared by Howarth method. The sequence of Howarth method is as following. Your naphthalin will react with succinic anhydride in, a, in presence of Lewis acid anhydride ALCL3 and then PPA and zinc dust is added and phenanthrin will produce. The mechanism will be In step 1, oxygen will donate its lone pair to aluminum of AlCl3. Then a positive charge will come upon oxygen. Now, this carbon will become highly electrophilic. And now, naphthalene. will be the nucleophile and it will attack through its one position And this bond will break and neutralizes the positive charge upon oxygen. Now this will form and here naphthalin can also attack through its two position and it both will give uh, the same product but as the attack from one position is more preferable so I am showing this but you can do also with Two position now this hydrogen will leave that medium and it will get, get back its aromaticity Now this bond will break and it will take up this H plus And a beta keto acid will form. Now, PPA present in the medium, and in step two, uh, PPA act as a source of H plus ion here, polyprotic acid, polyphosphoric acid. So, it will give H plus ion. And will take up this H plus and give now this OH2 o positive will leave as H2O and give a positive charge on this carbonyl carbon Now, now it will attack through this position as naphthalene has more 1-2 double bond character 
so its next preferable position will be 2 as one position is blo blocked hence it will attack to two position and gives the ring and cyclization occurs here 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 carbons are present and we will get this now this will break and gives now in step 3 zinc dust will add it to reduce the compound and upon reduction we will get the phenanthrene molecule now Phenanthrene can also be prepared by Bordhon Shengupta method. The mechanism will be in Bordhon Shengupta method. At first, in step 1, bromobenzene will react with magnesium and gives a organomagnesium compound. Then it will react with right, and the mechanism will be bromobenzene by adding magnesium heat will give a grid node reagent mgbr negative positive then will react with the epoxide and this and here a beta phenyl ethyl alcohol will form and by treating this with HBr it will give a beta phenyl ethyl bromide in step 2 a cyclohexanone will react with NaOET as a base in presence of diethyl oxalate and this base will capture the acetic hydrogen in this position and here a negative charge will form this negative charge will then attack to this carbonyl carbon and leaves OET minus as living group actually it will be ETOH as living group and it will form and this by adding heat by giving heat uh, D carbonyl relation will occur that is carbon monoxide will liberate and it will form hmm. now in step 3 this compound will treat it with potassium and heat this potassium and heat captures the acidic hydrogen in this position and gives a negative charge this hydrogen is very much acidic because it can go to both side conjugation with this keto group and this keto group also and now now a negative charge will come to this position and it will now react with the compound from the step 1 that is beta phenyl ethyl bromide it will attack to this position and bromine will leaves now a compound like this will form Now to this dilute NaOH, HCO plus and heat is added 
uh, by adding dilute NaOH, the CO2 group will be uh, become CO2 negative and a positive, and by adding H2O plus, it will give the acidic group CO2H, and by adding heat, the CO2 will leave the medium and ultimately will form this. Now to this sodium in moist ether in moist ether is added to reduce this co group and it will gives oh alcohol keto group will reduce to alcohol now p2o5 is added and um, this oh will leaves and give by adding p2o5 this hydro oh will leave and give this and this and uh, as OH2 in presence of H2O P2O5 will give H3PO4 which will produce H plus in the medium and then it will attack to this position and it will capture this H plus and cyclization occurs and will give will give this and by adding selenium as aromatizing agent we will ge get the phenanthrin molecule the phenanthrin molecule the demerit of borden shadgupta method is that here as this hydrogen will break and o wish to will leave the medium but here consequently this hydrogen can also leaves and the double bond can also come in this position and then this type of rearrangement cannot be done and phenanthrin will not come so then Boger group gives his mechanism and the mechanism is this mechanism is simple and here also bromobenzene is taken and treated with magnesium then organo metallic compound now organo magnesium compound will form and samely it will react with epoxide and in presence of H2O plus and give this and this will react with HBr and again beta phenyl ethyl bromide will form and the difference is here it will then react again with magnesium and again a Rignard reagent will form negative MgBr positive in step 2 in step 2 this compound will react with cyclohexanone Sorry, sorry, sorry. Cyclohexanone and will attack to this position. Open up this bond and give that compound. again p2o5 is added now if double bond come this position or if come to this position of that hydrogen will give same compound and and give this now 
H plus present in the medium and in the same mechanism which will give this will form now uh, by adding selenium or palladium charcoal as aromatizing agent we will get phenantrin this was bogger crook synthesis and these three methods are very useful to form phenantrin thank you if this video is helpful to you please like and subscribe to my channel and now you can follow me in facebook and twitter the links are given in the description box thank you